Okay, imagine for a moment that the speed of light is like one foot per second. And I'm going to start coming toward you at just a little less than one foot per second. And, or I'm gonna move my hand toward you at just a little less than one foot per second. Okay, now for, if light moved at one foot per second, Okay, it would leave my hand here as I began to be leaving my hand the whole time. But as I began to move it toward you, the light representing the image of my hand moving toward you would leave my hand right about now. Now, you wouldn't see the hand moving toward you begin to move toward you until that light reached you. At that point, my hand would be just a few just just a little bit behind the light the light that you saw of my hand starting here would arrive at when my hand reached this point so when you are watching my hand approach um, you you would actually see it come toward you at many many times the speed of light Now, if I did the opposite, if I had my hand starting here and move at, uh, like, just short of the speed of light away from you, then you would see it begin to move toward, move, you would see the, the image leaving, and then you would see it arrive, but you, there'd be a delay by the time it arrived of the speed of the speed of light. As a matter of fact, the, the fastest that it can appear, if, if you think about it carefully, uh, you'll realize that the fastest that it can appear that an object is moving away from you is half the speed of light. You can't see something move away at the speed of light. So there is no limit to the speed at which it appears that something is approaching, but there there is a a limit to the speed at which you can see a, a, an object moving away. Um, that'll be part one.